Hi, welcome to Muzzle First. So I want to talk to you briefly about a movie I saw over the weekend called Hacksaw Ridge. Hacksaw Ridge was released in the United States on November 4th of 2016. Hacksaw Ridge is a biographical war film um, based around the World War II experiences of Desmond Doss. Desmond Doss served as an army medic during the Battle of Okinawa and became the first conscientious objector in American history to win the Congressional Medal of Honor. The movie is directed by Mel Gibson. You'll remember him from Braveheart, Mad Max, Lethal Weapon, Payback, The Patriot. Uh, his dossier just goes on and on and on. Great actor, great director. Um, Desmond Doss's character is played by Andrew Garfield. Um, Hugo Weaving plays the part of his father, Tom Doss. Rachel Griffiths plays the part of his mother, Bertha Doss. And Teresa Palmer plays the part of, of nurse Dorothy Shuttle that Doss marries while he's serving in the army. Vince Vaughn also plays the part of Sergeant Howe, his sergeant. Another reason to see the movie, I'm a really big fan of Vince Vaughn. Uh, through the majority of the movie, Desmond Doss is looked upon as a coward because of his refusal to train with a firearm and for refusing to kill anyone, including the enemy. But everyone serving with Doss soon learns it is not cowardice but conviction that drives Desmond Doss. Doss's unit is assigned to the 77th Infantry Division and sent to the Pacific Theater where they participated in the Battle of Okinawa against the Japanese. The movie gets its title from the cliff face of the Made Escarpment nicknamed Hacksaw Ridge. The men must climb Hacksaw Ridge to engage the enemy. Doss is credited for rescuing over 75 of our soldiers at Hacksaw Ridge and even a couple of the enemy soldiers. He was awarded the Medal of Honor by President Harry S. Truman. He was also married to Dorothy until her death in 1991. Doss himself passed away on March 23, 2006 at the age of 87. As for the movie itself, um, it is not a blood and guts movie. It is, um, it's interesting, it keeps your attention from beginning to end. It is not action packed. They do a lot of character development. A large portion of the movie, probably three quarters of the movie easy, is spent on character development. Even the combat scenes themselves are really done for character development. They're not done around the, um, just 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 the glory of war, or the blood and guts, the, the gore of the whole thing. They're done around character development. It's really pretty cool. It's a great movie. Um, it's worth watching. If you like history at all, um, seeing things that done around um, characters like this is really cool to me. This is what really interests me. So I'm gonna give this movie four out of five muzzles. That's my rating, four out of five. Um, only thing I'm going to knock it on is, is it could have had it could have had a little bit more action in the movie, but like I said, it was an interesting movie. It keeps your attention all the way through it. Um, I didn't fall asleep, <laughs> but um, you know it was a good movie. I, I would go. I, I probably wouldn't go see it at the movie theaters again, but I will see it again after it comes out on uh, on Blu-ray. That's it. Uh, if you got any questions, you can uh, send me an email at muzzlefirst at gmail.com or visit my website www.muzzlefirst.com and as always there are um, there's a spot below this video on YouTube where you can leave comments if you want you can ask questions there you can also contact me through YouTube uh, like the video subscribe I greatly appreciate it thank you and you have a good day